Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Matt from snoozecentral.org and snoozetv.com. Hope you guys are having an awesome day today and like always, enjoying good quality Swedish snooze. Well, I'm here, I'm live yet again. Sorry about the delay. Uh, I was actually working on a fan in the other room. So I had to get that squared away so we could, you know, stay cool here in the house. But anyway, uh, we are talking about Odin's Extreme Licorice. Now I'm going to wait a couple minutes here to see if anybody else are gonna, is uh, going to join me live. Um, again, as you guys know, the chat is open and uh, available for everybody. So go ahead, shoot some comments down below in the comment uh, section. Just a quick reminder of that though, there is a delay of about five to seven seconds. So if you do post a comment, just letting you guys know that there will be a delay. So anyway, uh, I only have two people on here so far. Uh, for my viewers in Sweden, sorry, I know I got to get these out a little bit earlier and I'm trying to, uh, hence the reason why I'm starting at 8 p.m. Uh, on a Thursday night, Eastern time. So hopefully some more people will join us. And uh, if you are a uh, you know fan of the channel, uh, I'll, I'll let you guys join in. I have no problem sending you a link. And uh, you just have to have a video camera, a microphone, and a uh, set of headphones. So that way we don't get any feedback issues. But I got some people joining in right now. I'm going to check the chat and everything. So got a couple people joining us. So hello to everybody. Uh, again, I'm going to about to start the Odin's Extreme Licorice Review. Cracking a can now. I'm not going to keep this in for too long because this is really higher of a nicotine content that I'm used to using on a daily basis. And I haven't had anything to eat yet. Yeah, so that's your Odin's licorice. So let's get right into this, guys. I got my uh, drink of choice, which is good old fashioned root beer. Yeah, I know I'm drinking pop, but or soda, as some people call it, but uh, yeah. All right, let's start off on this. Odin's Licorice Extreme. Getting the can lined up here. All right, so today we're going to be taking a look at a live review of Odin's Extreme Portion Licorice. Now, this is probably not a popular snooze for most of you guys, but I would say give this a shot. Don't be shy of this one. Give it a shot. Let me know how you like it. Um, it's a really good one. I've, uh, I've had this before, but again, this is a stronger nicotine than I'm used to, so I don't use it quite often, but I love licorice. And uh, there being an absent, absence of uh, licorice snooses on the market, this one does it for me from time to time. So, looking at the graphics here, you can see that it's a nice purple backdrop uh, to signify the licorice designation and the flavor. You have the Odin's Old English font up here with the extreme in the red and the portion in the red swatch, along with the uh, Odin's crows, the uh, his sword, uh, and the wolves there. Really, really nice touch from Gian Tobacco. I love the can design and styling. There's no warning label on this. I don't know if that's going to change in the future or not, but uh, I like the can design as is. And you have the hinged catch lid up top, so you don't have to worry about losing uh, your catch lid when you're out on the go. So that's a pretty nice feature and uh, benefit there. The only downside that I've noticed on some of these Odin's cans too is that the label is sort of misaligned. So sometimes I'll peel this off and reapply it, make it look better. And again, guys, if you're posting something right now, uh, I'm not looking at the comments at this moment. I will in a minute here, but I'm just trying to get through this review, and then I'll open it up for discussion and things of that nature. So the smell right out of the can is a traditional licorice scent or aroma. It's semi-sweet in the uh, characteristics on the nose. And it's just really nice. Uh, there's a tingle that I'm getting from this, and it's probably from the nicotine. So I'm going to go ahead and pop one of these in. And again, you know, 
on these really, really strong portions, I'm pretty much a wuss. Uh, I don't use a lot of them, and uh, I'm not too crazy about the really high nicotine stuff. Now, granted, this isn't very much stronger than, say, like an extra stark, but uh, here it goes. So I've had this one before, and I like it. Now, as soon as you pop this in, you're going to get a nice, straightforward licorice flavor that has almost a menthol presence to it. And it's it's more of that tingling, burning sensation you get with the mint, um, but it's got that slight cooling effect to it. Now, I don't think there's any menthol in here or mint, but there is enough uh, of that burning, tingling presence that makes me think that there is something in here that's giving it like a phenolic type of, you know, coolness. So it very well could be just the nicotine, you know, hitting me right now. But that aside, it's a really nice, straightforward licorice flavor that's semi-sweet, not too sweet. And you do get a little bit of a tobacco presence in the background. Nothing crazy, nothing out of the ordinary, but it's just a normal licorice flavor with not too many bells and whistles here. So if you're really craving a licorice flavor, give this a shot. And if you like stronger portions, this is going to be a good one to go with. Now the nicotine content is sitting at a solid, and I mean solid, 2.2%. So this is going to definitely do you in if you need an extra strong nicotine kick. Me personally, I don't keep these in long because I'm not used to that giant nicotine hit right off the bat. That's why I can't keep in Siberia. That's why I can't keep in Thunder X or any of these really, really strong ones. And sometimes I have a hard time with GN Tobacco's uh, Clove Explosion because that stuff is really strong. So this is sitting right around the same level as that Clove Explosion, a little bit under, but it's definitely packing quite a bit of nicotine in this. Now, I'm not really getting a hit off of it right now. Uh, I just put it in, and it, the flavors are starting to develop more here, but the nicotine hasn't really hit me that much yet. Once it does, I am going to take it out, though, because, again, I'm a wuss. So... Really good flavor. Uh, the flavor longevity that I found on these guys lasts a good solid 45 minutes in the upper lip. Uh, granted, after about the 15 to 20 minute mark, it sort of dies down and goes to about half the flavor intensity. And then after the 45 minutes mark, it's basically done. There's not much flavor left. Nothing that um, is really going to want it, this to be in longer than about 30 minutes. If you go to 45 minutes, you're stretching it, but you can get 45 minutes of flavor out of this. So granted, it's not bad. Um, now, the portions per can on this one is a good 20 portions per can, and the total gram, rate, gram weight on this is 18 grams per can. So, you know, it's not bad for, uh, you know, the, the tobacco to snooze weight ratio. It's, it's not too bad. The flavor is good. The nicotine is definitely what is going to sell most people on this one. And it's a really cool looking can too. I mean, look at that. That is really cool. Um, I like it quite a bit. So I think, uh, you know, if you're itching for a licorice snooze, this is definitely the one to check out. And if you like strong nicotine snooses, another good one. So uh, let's pull up the comments here. I'm going to start reading a couple. Um, I don't really have too many people commenting, but I got four people watching, so that's pretty good for, you know, end of the night here. Um, yeah, it's it's not bad. So keep those comments rolling, guys. Um, let me know what you think of uh, Odin's Extreme Licorice. If you haven't tried this already, um, what's your expectations of it? And just let me know. Um, I'm really curious to uh, what you guys think about this one. I like it. It's not bad. It's not the greatest. Yeah, I'm taking it out. It's because I'm not ready for that nicotine hit. I haven't ate anything, so this much nicotine on an empty stomach is not a good idea. But yeah, I want to know what you guys think of this one. If you've tried it or if you haven't tried it yet, what you're expecting out of this one. I like it. Like I said, it's it's uh, it's a decent snooze. It's not bad. It's not my daily rotation, 
But if I want something strong and something that's going to satisfy a you know a giant nicotine hit or a big one, uh, this will do it for me because it's slightly sweet. It's not too overly done. Uh, there's a little bit of an aniseed flavor in here as well as the licorice. And when I say licorice, it's not like a candy sweet, sweet licorice. It's it's not like um, a Twizzlers licorice if you've ever had that. It's on the traditional side of black licorice. So if you like black licorice with a tad bit of salt too, this is not a bad option. I know I keep saying that, but it, it's really, it's a good snooze and a lot of people really pass this up and I don't know why. Uh, there's not a lot of the licorice snooses on the market. All right, so um, yeah, uh, I'm going to read a comment here. It's from uh, Tucon4, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I like licorice, but wish there were more normal strength ones. I totally agree with you. Um, I tried a couple from Scroof, and uh, I've, I've, I've tried um, some other ones from Odin's that they released of licorice options, like the Scroof uh, Rala Lacrits, I believe it's called. It's available for the Norwegian market. And that one is pretty darn good. It's sold on the border shops, I believe. And it, that's a good snooze. That's a, it has 10% natural licorice. I'm probably getting this wrong. But I believe it has 10% natural licorice root mixed in with the tobacco in that portion. So it's a very good natural licorice flavor. Um, I don't know if that's going to be picked up later on. It might. Who knows? But uh, it's a really, really good snooze. Um, but this Odin's one is pretty darn close to that. It's not as natural tasting, um, but I mean, it's slightly on the artificial side, but it's not too bad to where you're going to feel like you're getting sick from it. So it's a good one. Uh, and uh, I have another viewer too. I can't even pronounce that. What's my favorite snooze? So my favorite snooze I've had a couple favorite snooses. Um, I mix up my rotation a lot, but my mainstay has been Scroof. Scroof uh, Slim Original White. That's been my mainstay. Um, that and the new Black Line from Scroof is phenomenal stuff. I can use Black Line like all the time and not get tired of it. It has more of that rose oil presence there. And it's something that's just a phenomenal snooze. And I think I have it on my wall right here. Yeah, so this is the uh, the Scroof Black line. If you haven't had this yet, I did a review on it. So check the review out and get yourself a couple cans or a roll of this. Because who knows how long they're going to make this stuff. It is just phenomenal. This is probably my all-time favorite Scroof product. Uh, besides, and you guys probably know what this is, but besides Sunfresh. Uh, and I know I'll get a lot of flack for that too, but yeah, um, black line is definitely my mainstay of, of tobacco flavor. If I want something stronger in the screw line, uh, other than that, I'll go over to, um, the screw slim original white or the original portion if I can find it. So that's, uh, that's some really good stuff is the black line. Phenomenal. And then I also like the uh, the ecological portions too. Um, those get a little bit of flack, but I, I do like that. Uh, let's see. Steven asks, so for an American, so for Americans, would you say it tastes like old uh, liquid pipes? So the the candies, right? Uh, it it does a little bit, but it's not as sweet. It's more of that natural flavor, but a little bit artificial. It's like in that middle ground. Of, of the flavor profile. So yeah, if you haven't tried Scroof yet, you definitely need to try it. I have another viewer said they never tried Scroof, so definitely check that out. It's it's a it's a great great snooze, and that's been my brand for quite a long time. For a period here, I did switch to GN Tobacco exclusively, and I do like a lot of their products that GN Tobacco still produces. Like their Isla Whiskey is still one of my favorite crafted whiskey products that Connie Anderson pioneered for them. Um, and they have the Odin's Mint, which is a good mint snooze. Uh, the Lenny's is good. Um, and what else do I got from them? I have a lot of stuff. Just looking back here for reference. Um, but they, they recently, I believe they recently bought out Byron. Um, 
which Byron's awesome too. If you're outside of the States, definitely grab yourself a couple cans of Byron. It's not available for the U.S. yet. So, um, but yeah, they, GM Tobacco is a solid, solid snooze company, and they make a lot of good offerings. Something that really fits everybody. They make a really nice uh, natural melon-flavored snooze, and I did a review on that uh, about a year back. So check that out too. So if you like a natural melon, something that's not too overly sweet, it's a good option to go with. Let's see. So Snooze94 says it's 223 at night in Sweden. So, so 223 p.m. or 223 a.m. I think that would be a.m., right? Because let's see, if you're Yeah, so AM. So I have a Stockholm uh, um, clock on my Mac here. So yeah, you're in the morning, dude. What are you doing? You work uh, Snooze 94. Do you Are you getting back home from work or what? Uh, but anyway, yeah, thanks for joining me. Um, you know, kudos to you in Sweden for sticking it out. I, I appreciate it. You guys have phenomenal Snooze, by the way. Uh, what's your favorite Snooze, Snooze 94? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, anyway... I, um, I'm also uh, holding this, and it's not really a contest, but it's an open forum for people that would like to be on Snooze TV. So when I do my full reviews, not my live ones, but my full reviews, um, I am putting a welcome video in the beginning of each of them. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the uh, uh, Binked Vberg when he did his, uh, Chad Jones from Snooby did his. Um, I had, um, I have a couple other people that's coming up as well. Uh, yeah. So if you guys want to be a part of snooze TV and you want to be on it, there's going to be a uh, description down in the description box of how you can actually submit a 10 to 15 second clip, uh, basically welcoming the channel or opening the channel. So if you want to do that, feel free. Uh, again, it's in the description box below. So if, uh, send those videos on over to me and I'll add them to the beginning of my full reviews that I do. So those are really, those have been really fun to do lately. Sorry, it's really hot in this room. I don't have a fan or anything in here. The window's shut. It's like, it's like 80 degrees and it's just hot in this room. So if I'm stuttering and mumbling, it's because I'm hot. I'm a little bit overheated. So anyway, yeah. So if you want to submit those clips, please do so. I'd love to uh, see you guys. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, so Steve, you're at 8.30 p.m. So yeah, same here. So as you know, I'm in Michigan. We're in the same time zone. Where are you at, Steven? I'd like to know where you guys are from and, um, you know, what, what part of the world you're from, what time it is there and stuff like that. It just makes it fun for me. I like getting feedback. And I also want to know too, guys, uh, what do you think about the reviews so far? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Uh, do you want anything changed? Do you want me to add something to my reviews? Uh, yeah, let me know. And I'm going to, uh, after this video is done, I'm probably going to download the video and uh, cut some of the longer portions out to make it shorter for those that just want to see the review. So I'm going to basically do this full live chat here and also cut it short. So, you know, for those who just want to skip me talking with the, uh, the live chat, I'm drinking pop again or soda. So I got another comment. Um, do you, do you keep pot? Do you keep pauses or are you a chain snoozer? So basically do I snooze all the time or am I a chain snoozer? I'm not a chain snoozer, um, but then again, it depends on the day. Uh, if I'm going through a lot at work or if, uh, you know, it just depends on the day. If I'm really digging a snooze, yeah, I'll chain snooze sometimes. But typically, I use about five to ten portions a day, if that. I mean, it's stretching it if I go ten. So realistically, about five to seven, which is not that much. The typical snooze user uses about two cans per week, I've heard. And uh, 
you know, that, that'd be a lot for me. I don't even go, I go through a can, probably one can every two weeks or so, unless I'm really into it, then I'll go through the can in like a week or less. But yeah. So sitting with two at time portions and watching this don't get much, don't get much better. So thank you. And uh, yeah, props to Sweden again. Uh, I appreciate all the Swedish viewers I get and all the American viewers I get too, the U.S. viewers. Cool. Thanks. Thank you guys for the feedback. I, I love it. Um, I'm actually going to pop in a uh, general white portion. So these are on sale in the U.S., my state, Michigan, for $2 a can right now. Two bucks. So I scraped together the quarters that I found in my car. Got some general white. General white's just like a mainstay for me too. Uh, if I'm running low on snooze or if I just get a craving for general, I'll go down to my local store, support uh, Swedish match, and buy either the white or the original. More times than not the original. But if I'm at work and I don't want a lot of drip, I'll go with the general white portion. Really good stuff. Really good stuff. Again, keep these comments rolling. I love talking to you guys. Yeah, general is five eighty-five for a can in Minnesota. That is crazy. Now I'm reading these comments um, for two reasons. One, I know you guys are probably reading the comments in the live chat, so I'm like reiterating those and giving you guys shout-outs. But another reason is because after this video is done posting. There's not going to be any comments on this video. So all the live chat comments do not show up. So if you want and you want to boost this video, give it a like, drop some comments down below and share it. That really helps. The more comments I get really helps spread the video as well as sharing it and uh, liking it. So please do that. Um, it's all about getting the word of Swedish news out to the masses, helping people quit smoking, so, yeah, it's a good thing. Uh, yeah, $2 is very cheap. Uh, they have promotions. Swedish Match runs promotions on their snooses uh, in different locations. Um, I don't know, maybe in Minnesota it might drop or uh, in different areas of the U.S. They, they really fluctuate their prices depending on sales and all that kind of stuff. So, Supply and demand type of thing. So I guess we have lower uh, volume of snooze sales in Michigan, but I know a lot of people that do buy a lot of snooze here. Uh, for instance, when I went and picked up the General White, um, they told me they don't sell a lot of General White, but they do sell a lot of the mint in wintergreen, which is surprising because in my personal opinion, I don't like General Wintergreen that much. And I like wintergreen from time to time. But General Wintergreen is one of those flavors that just doesn't really scratch that itch for wintergreen. There's definitely better options for wintergreen. So in Finland, Sweden, uh, huh, okay. So it's about $2 a can, if I'm getting that correctly, in Sweden, probably. Hmm. Yeah, General Loose is good too. Snooze94 mentioned uh, General Loose. That's really good stuff. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, let me tilt the camera up a little bit. So right up there, I have Aton Loose in the, uh, the right there. In the uh, Yacht can, I have Aton White in original. And that one right there is just a regular can of Aton Loose. Uh, General Loose is great, too. Really good stuff. I don't use a lot of... Uh, Loose because it just gets really messy to take out. And when I do use loose, it's with an ice tool. So I don't contaminate the can and I keep my fingers cleaner. So what, uh, this is a good time for me to ask you guys too that, uh, what kind of snooses do you want me to review in the future? Um, I have a 
pretty decent selection I haven't reviewed yet. If you want me to review more higher nicotine stuff or more traditional Swedish snus, or do you want me to re-review the older ones that I did uh, reviews on and just make them better, let me guys know. What do you guys want to see from me? Because I'm making these videos for you guys. I want these videos to be high quality, something that you can refer to back in the in the uh, you know in the future, and just enjoy them. Enjoy watching them. Do you like more comedy in the videos? Do you, what do you like? What do you want from me that I can make you guys more happy with the channel and with my content in general? Because I want to make sure you guys are having the best experience you can finding Swedish news videos and just enjoying your time on this channel. Because I know that time is precious to everybody. Not everybody has 20, 30 minutes or even, you know, you know, enough time to sit through all these live streams. So I want to make sure they're of quality, you know, in a good format and everything. So let me know. Let me know, guys. Shoot some comments down in that live chat. Yeah, screw smoking. Smoking sucks. It really does. Uh, it kills so many people. Um, this is what I'm about here on SNU Central, uh, SNU Central .org's YouTube channel is tobacco harm reduction, uh, getting more people off of smoking into Swedish snus, and even dipping, American dip or American chew, over to Swedish snus because, one, you get more nicotine that can satisfy people, and two, you get more flavor variety. You get more choices. With the U.S. tobacco market, it is very constricted, and it's very expensive to smoke. And not only that, not just for the price of a pack of cigarettes, but it's very expensive in the fact that you're damaging your body to a, such a huge extent. You're raising your risk of, of you know, cardiovascular disease, heart disease, lung cancer, diabetes, um, you know, liver problems, all these things because of smoking. And it's just Swedish snus is known, is known to be 99% safer, 97 to 99% safer than smoking and, uh, you know, regular American dip or chew. In my opinion, the chew part. But, yeah, it's definitely well worth making the switch. I have a guy at work, uh, shout out to uh, Justin Saunders, if I can say that, if you're watching. Um, really nice guy, um, been trying to quit smoking. I've been, you know, lending him some snooze to, to get him off of smoking. And I just want to say, man, keep it up. I, I'm rooting for you. Um, I really want to see you get off these cigarettes and into a better alternative. You already tell me, man, that you like this stuff better than smoking. So all you got to do is take those first couple steps. So I'm right here with you. we got a huge community here that will also support you. And, uh, you know, everybody that's in the live chat, if he's watching right now, give him a shout out. Encourage him to stop smoking. And, uh, you know, keep it up. Keep it up, man. We're all rooting for you. We know you can do it. There's been so many people that have stopped smoking with Swedish snus, and this is what it's all about. So switching to a better alternative. So yeah. Um, also, if you guys haven't checked out the uh, Swedish match, um, Swedish snus store that I visited on my way to the St. Louis SnusCon this year, check that out. It's only a five-minute video or so, and I think you guys will really enjoy that. Uh, it was really cool looking at a snoo store that's only a pop-up, though, in the United States, walking in there and being able to buy Swedish snooze. I mean, in the chiller and everything. And I know you can get Swedish snooze, in, you know, um, in gas stations and stuff like that, but an actual dedicated store was so cool to see. So I was really pumped and excited to... Uh, to visit that store, and I hope you guys will enjoy that video as well. So a lot of people have already viewed that, so if you haven't, go ahead and check that video out. It's a couple videos back. It's really cool. It's just a sneak peek inside that store. I couldn't film that much in there because I didn't want to freak anybody out. So, and uh, Snooze94 says, have I smoked before? Yes, I have. I used to be a pipe and cigar smoker. I did it as a hobby. Um, I liked the flavors too much, and I was using it more 
than a hobby. Now, I was never addicted to nicotine. I'm still not. Uh, but smoking a pipe and a cigar gave me, a, you know, the, the certain amount of flavors because I really appreciate the craft of tobacco. What goes into it? What goes into the processes of, you know, growing it from there, how they treat it, and the artisan craft that is with tobacco. That's what really got me into pipe smoking and, and things of that nature. Um, from there, I went to vaping for a little bit. I vaped since 2007, and it wasn't scratching that itch of those flavors that I was looking for and that overall experience. I mean, yes, there was the hand-to-mouth thing. There was the, the, you know, the blowing the vapor out of the electronic cigarette. But I wasn't really satisfied. That craft artisan style was missing from vaping because it was all mechanical. It was all liquid-based. It was just something I wasn't, I mean, it was cool, right? It looked interesting. And it was a cool from a technological standpoint, but it wasn't something that I was looking for as far as the artists and craftsmanship of it. And then I ran across some snooze videos online from the older viewers on snoozecentral.org, this YouTube channel, Chad Jones uh, from snooby.com. And I did some research on Swedish snooze, read the studies, and then picked up my first can, first two cans of general original portion and general mint. Pop that general original portion in, that was the first one I had, and I was instantly taken back to those flavors that were very similar to pipe smoking without the smoke, without the lingering, you know, smell, which sometimes it smelled good to me, but other people it didn't. Um, I didn't have to worry about the health side effects. I, you know, I didn't have that dirty taste in my mouth afterwards. And the snus was very, very clean. If you, I mean, you guys know what, I, what I'm talking about. It's cleaner. It's a cleaner form of tobacco. So from that moment on, I started doing um, snus reviews on my personal channel, which you guys can still see. I have some older reviews um, on my Soup222 channel. Shameless plug there, or Soup channel. Um, so yeah, just type in Soup on YouTube. You'll see my old Swedish snus reviews. From there, uh, I got picked up by snoozecentral.org to do reviews. And I was opened up to a world of snus. And there were so many flavors, so many choices. And it was fantastic. So here we are, two years later, still doing reviews for you guys. And I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep uh, supporting tobacco harm reduction and the better standard that is Swedish snus. So good night from uh, Sweden, I believe, right? or uh, the U.S. Uh, Jari Kanto, he said good night. So good night to you, sir. Or, uh, right? Yeah. Anyway, good night. Hope you have a good night in Sweden. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. That's my story of from smoking to vaping to Swedish snus. That's that's pretty much it for uh, for that. Any other, uh, any other things? Um, any other comments, questions, concerns? Again, there's a delay, so fire away, guys. So I'm just checking the comments, so sorry again for the pause. To make sure I didn't miss anything. So Snooze Store is cool. Hopefully it'll be around SnoozeCon next year, right? Um, SnoozeCon 2018. I don't know if this is official or not. I hope it is. If it's, if it's not, I'm sorry in advance, Chad, but uh, it's gonna be coming to Chicago 2018. Next year, Chicago SnoozeCon. 2018. So I hope to see you guys there. I will definitely be there. Um, 
you know, representing snoocentral.org. Hopefully Larry will be there. I think he will. Pretty sure he will. But I'd like to interview more people at SnoozeCon. I'd like to have more formal sit-down interviews with uh, people and, uh, you know, talk snooze. So uh, snooze is helping me lose weight. Um, yeah, I could see that. Uh, you don't you don't eat as much because nicotine is a uh, stimulant where it helps curb cravings. And that's why when smokers get off of smoking to, you know, or they just quit cold turkey, they'll eat a lot and uh, they'll gain a bunch of weight. So nicotine does suppress appetite. But, you know, it's in the same category as caffeine. So caffeine will also do that to you. Um, yeah, any other comments, suggestions, concerns? If not, I might wrap it up. Keep those comments rolling or I'm going to wrap it up, guys. <laughs> so what do you guys want to see from me? Let me know. So I will just let you know as well, uh, if you want to submit the uh, intro for Snooze TV, here's what you got to do. So it's a 10 to 15 second clip saying, I'm blank from blank, and you're watching snoozetv.com. Again, I'm blank from blank, and you're watching snoozetv.com. You can add something funny. You could just be yourself. Uh, all I ask is for you guys not to have any foul language. Have fun with it. Be yourself. Do something interesting. Um, you know, just be yourself. And send those intros to intro for snooze tv at gmail.com again it's intro for snooze tv at gmail.com again if you want everything that's written out it's down below in the description box so go ahead and send those to me guys very easy uh, you can email me uh, them it's pretty easy to do that pretty sure you guys know how to work emails Uh, don't you worry about your teeth getting yellow and crap by snooze. Um, no, I don't. Uh, I don't have the straightest teeth to begin with. And two, I brush twice a day uh, using whitening toothpaste. So I'm not concerned about it. My teeth are pretty much fine. They're white. They're not as white as probably as some other people's like a movie star, but I'm not complaining. They're pretty much good. Elska means love. El Elskar, Elska. If I'm pronouncing that wrong or right, let me know. That's Swedish, right? Because I'm I'm trying to learn Swedish. And I have a weird voice too. Um, you guys haven't picked up on that already. At least some people say I do. So some pronunciation things I, I'm sort of bad at, but I'm trying. So is it Alska? Alska? Right? Right or wrong? Let me know. But good. Good to know it's Swedish, though. Cool. Because I'm trying to learn. Keep these comments rolling, guys. Like I said, I'll uh, I'll jump off once these comments wind down. Cool, cool. How do you say? Okay, so that's that's love, right? Elska. So that's love. So what is, um, what is I love you too? What is that? Or is it just in that one word? Sorry, I know I'm getting Swedish lessons from a live chat. <laughs> but it's cool. I love talking to you guys. It's awesome. Keep it going. Sorry I'm being boring, by the way. I sort of stopped doing the snooze review. I'm pretty much done with the snooze review. Unless you guys want me to do a two-in-one, I'll find something else to review.
Yag Alskar? Yag Alskar? Oh, okay. Huh. So, okay. So in this case, the A with the two dots above is pronounced hate, like A, like a, like a, ah, hate, hate. So it's, now do you, do you pronounce the S or is the S silent? Or is it like a, is a tongue working thing? This is, this is, I can only imagine that people that are going to watch this later and they're going to look at me and they're like, you're so stupid. So it's Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. Escar, Escar, right? Am I close? I, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay. Okay, I'm working on it, though. I'm working on it. I'm trying. I'll have to uh, Google Translate that later and get the, the pronunciation down. If I hear it, a couple times I can get it down, um, at least decent. So I'll work on it. Any other Swedish word you want to throw my way that I'll try on camera so you guys can laugh at? Let me know. <laughs> I love it though. I love talking to you guys. It's awesome. So let me know from you guys too. What's the first snooze you've ever tried? You know what? I'm going to open this up right now. Make a... Um, I don't know, a couple minute video, make a, up to a five minute video, okay? And send it to me. It doesn't have to be email. You can make it here on YouTube. Five minute video. Put in the uh, the title bar, um, Snooze Central, my first snooze uh, reply to Matt or something to that effect. So, um, do that and let me know what your first snooze you've ever tried was and what snooze you like now. So if it's changed, uh, do you still use that first snooze you've ever tried or have you moved on? I'd like to know. I might even submit a survey or, or make a survey on that because I'm really interested. I'm interested in what your first snooze was. So my first snooze that I ever tried again was General or General Original Portion. Love that stuff still today. It's fantastic. And then I found Scroof and fell in love with that. So George says, like the word M sound, but without the M. So ah, uh, ah. Uh. So, okay, so so this is still love, right? So it'd be a scar, a a a scar, a. S <laughs> I'll scar, I'll, I'll, I see. English, we pronounce. We pronounce the beginning of every word, right? So instead of um, like general, general, and then it's general, right? General. So you guys pronounce more the end of the word. So yeah. <laughs> so in, at least that's that's how I believe that. Uh, Swedish has spoken. You pronounce more of the ending of the word rather than, than the beginning. And that, that's pretty much that's pretty much across the board too with different languages. And this, you know, this is this news channel. I'm sitting here like learning words, you know, from different this is like Rosetta Stone Snooze Central style. <laughs> right. Okay, so that's quite good. So I'm on, I'm on, I'm on track.
So Oscar. So Oscar to you guys. So thank you. Um, I know Tuck is thank you, right? Tuck, Tuck, thank you. Um, yeah. Any other American viewers on here? Any other uh, guys from the U.S.? Supports newscentral.org, newstv.com. You know what? I'm opening up my email right now. I'm doing it. I'm checking it. See if you guys submitted any. Nope, nothing yet. Come on, guys. Send them to me. I want those intros. If you guys are shy, don't be. Have I tried G3 Volt? You know what? I have. And that review is coming up next. Not live. It's going to be a full review. Trying to get some editing down. Um, this was Gandalf, Gandalf the Wise. So, do you go by Gandalf the Gray or Gandalf the White? Right? Which one do you go by? Anyway, Gandalf says, uh, have you tried G3 Volt? And yes, I have. Uh, again, that'll be on a full review uh, in front of the studio lights and everything. So that's going to be an interesting one. Again, I'm trying to get the editing down right. I want to do some cool stuff with that. Um, so yeah, gray. Okay, Gandalf the gray. Wise choice. I liked him better than white, even though, you know. But anyway, I don't want to get into Lord of the Rings. It'll take like a good six hours to get through all of that. Is Off-Road stronger than Siberia? Off-Road X? I would say, as far as total nicotine content, maybe. As far as what I feel from the two, I feel that Siberia does hit harder, but off-road is pretty darn hard as well. Um, that stuff knocked me out. Knocked me out. I need to do the off-road X. That's actually one snooze I have not reviewed yet. I've done Thunder X. But off-road X is one I need to work on, for sure. So that'll be coming up in the future too, off-road X. Siberia, you can reference my older view. I actually uh, faked pass out, passed out on that one. <laughs> so that was a fun video to do, that I did, though. Really fun. My wife helped me with that one. Good times, good memories. So you have off-road, but is it off-road X or is it just the original line? Off-road in general, the original off-road line is not bad. It's normal strength. I think they have Stark options available. Let me check. I know the minis are still around. Checking right now. Off-road X. Off-road in general. Let's see what they got. See what we got. So no, no Starks. Just original and X. Which off-road X has 4.5% nicotine. That is crazy. Um, that's I think that's pretty much the same as the Thunder X. Let me check. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, but I'm checking. Off-Road X. Which is right now, Off-Road X is the king of strong snooses. So, and I would go with the uh, white dry portion on the Off-Road X. Yeah, 4.5%. So, same nicotine content in Off-Road X as it is in Thunder X. Yeah, expand your horizon. Exactly. How do you get the snooze? Like, where do you order? I live in Norway. So you're going to have to check on that on your own. Legally, I can't say. But you can look in the comment section below. That's where I get my snooze. And it should be obvious by... Obvious things. 
But yeah, if you want to know where I get my snooze, it's down below in the comment section or description box. It's hot in here. Soda was a bad choice. If you guys know that reference, which it was milk in that movie, but. And I'm starting to stall out on stuff to talk about, to be honest. I've been probably stalling on this for. I don't know, 20 minutes <laughs> after, ever since I got done with that. But then again, for those of you who like to see me talk to myself, reading comments that you can't read after the fact, the full video will be up for everybody to watch. Again, that's why I'm reading the comments. But just the, uh, the review portion will be cut down. I'm going to pull it in my editor, cut it. And all that kind of stuff, so you guys can just see the review of uh, Odin's licorice or lacrets extreme portion. Again, good snooze, good snooze, especially if you like licorice. Have I tried General Gandalf says, have you tried General Loose? Yes, I have. Uh, said this before, it's a really good snooze. Not my favorite, though, but a good one. I don't like Loose a lot because it gets messy when you take it out. I basically have to rinse my mouth out. So that's why I don't use a lot of loose. If I'm out like in the woods or something, you know, I'll use loose. If I'm camping. So yeah, I think that might wrap up the video. I'm going to give you guys the next five minutes to uh, say what you want to say. Have me reply to comments, <clears throat> and we'll wrap it up. <clears throat> so five more minutes, 9.03 p.m. Eastern Time is the current time. 9.08 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. is when I will be wrapping this up. So again, <clears throat> how old was I when I started using Snooze? I was, it was two years ago. <clears throat> so I was uh, 24. I'm 26 now. And before then, I was vaping, and before that, I was smoking pipes and cigars. So again, if you guys want to submit the opening videos for the full reviews, uh, be sure to uh, do that. Um, I have, again, all the information to do that is down below in the description box. I'd love to see you guys in the beginning of these videos, give, give you guys some shout outs, all that kind of good stuff. So keep it up. Uh, the only thing is too, Gandalf, I want to say you are 16. I do not, I do not condone the use of underage snus or tobacco use in general. If you, if you're over the age of tobacco, legal tobacco consumption use, and you're not addicted to nicotine, do not start. Or if you don't like tobacco, don't start because you can get addicted to snus or any tobacco product in general. Um, so I would condone that. But if you're over the age of wherever you are that it's legal, it's your choice. If you're trying to get off cigarettes, I would highly recommend using snus over American dip, over vaping, because it works. It really does. But if you're underage, I want to say this politely, please I mean, you can watch the videos, but please, please do not comment on them. Don't, you know, don't use snooze. You can watch them. That's totally fine. But don't freaking use snooze. If you're watching my videos for entertainment, that's one thing. If you're using it because you're watching my videos, don't do that. Do not do that. Please do not do that. Especially if you're 16. 
I just want to say that. If you're 16, please do not start. Get off of it now. Do not get addicted. If you're under the age, do not do it. Highly, highly, highly uh, condone the use of that to minors. That's not only illegal, but that is something that's just not morally right. And it's just not, it's not right. It really isn't. Okay? So if you're watching it for entertainment, that's one thing. Another thing, you know, if you're doing it because I'm doing it, don't. You do not want to get addicted to this stuff. It's a waste of money. If you're addicted and you're, you know, if you're underage and you, it's just, I mean, for us that snooze because we like it, it's not a waste of money. It's an enjoyment. It's a hobby. It's a great thing, especially if you're trying to stop smoking. But please do not, please do not start. Don't start, guys. Okay? So, get that out of the way. Uh, I'm not even going to pronounce this name in the chat, but it says, Thanks for making videos. I really love them. Going to bed now. Though, thanks for the li for live stream and making my night a lot better. Uh, night from Stockholm. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate the feedback and the support. Uh, love you, too. Love you too. Um, what is, let me see if I can pronounce that again. Let me see if I can pronounce that again. <laughs> so I'm going to use English and Swedish. Alskar to you too. Alskar, thank you. Thank you. Tuck, appreciate the support. So we got one minute. One minute remaining on this live stream. Get your questions out of the way now. And I'm going to wrap it up. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. It's been fun. So last questions, comments, concerns. <clears throat> concerns? <laughs> it's hot in this room. That's why I'm pretty much getting out of here. Plus, it's running a little bit long. So about 45 minutes to an hour. It's not bad for live stream. Not bad at all. So thank you guys for joining me. Appreciate it. Um, thank you to every one of you guys. You guys want to see my dog? She just walked in. Come here, Tal. Her name is Talisker after the uh, Scotch whiskey. Come here. You want to say hi to everybody? No? I got pictures on her on one of my snooze reviews. So if you want to see her, I believe it's on, um, let me check here. Bonus. So if you guys want to see um, my dog, I believe it's on, check. which video is it? It's Caliber. If you guys want to see the Caliber review, my dog chewed up one of those cans. So she's on there. Um, it's right here beside me. You know what? I'm going to. No, I was thinking about moving the camera. Come here, Tal. Come here. Come here. Tal, let's go. Come. Come. Want to say hi? Come here. Want to say hi to everybody? All right. I'm going to move the camera. If I mess everything up, here's my dog. Tal, let's go. Tal. Here's my messy uh, room, too. Messy studio. Tal, let's go. Come here. There she is. Gorgeous Australian Shepherd. Sweet dog. Really sweet dog. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for the support. Uh, again, I would highly recommend you guys checking out the description box below if you want to submit a welcome intro to this uh, full videos that I do. Where's my snooze? There it is. So thank you again for the continued support of snoozecentral.org and snoozetv.com. If you want to stay connected in the world of Swedish snooze, be sure to check out none other than snoozecentral.org for the latest articles my friend Larry Waters wrote, some articles my wife Jennifer Campbell wrote, and you know some quick hits and information along the day. 
on our Facebook page and our Instagram page. I do post a lot of photos on there. So be sure to check those out. Give those a like. Drop some comments in those photos too on Instagram. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks for joining me on this live stream of Odin's Licorice Extreme Portion. So until next time, guys, say it with me. You know the drill. Enjoy good snooze. See you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.